you have lost it all and suffered more than you could endure. The days you cried, not wanting to be seen by the world. How did you survive? How are you still here? What mysterious force inside you altered you? What if you were being prepared for something else? Do you remember looking out your window, seeing the power and the glory of the stars? To whom were you speaking with, unleashing your innermost thoughts, dreams, and hopes? For you were full of youthful joy at the anticipation of the rest of your life. But somewhere along the way, you were unaware of the roadblocks and mountain you were about to face. You see, you were unaware of the pain and suffering by design. The emptiness, the loneliness, the isolation, the emotional abandonment, the anger and resentment. We started to seek love outside ourselves and no matter how much you wanted the other to love you, it never came. You never felt the love you always wanted to feel inside. The love you always wanted deep in your heart. What if in this life, in order to feel truly free, the universe has a few prerequisites before we can apply to our chosen school and graduate in Masters of Life and the beginning of the greatest journey of healing, of self-discovery and the clenching of my fist to never feel so disempowered ever again. That knife in the heart was required to shed our weak and fearful selves off and free you from the darkness like the caterpillar who thought the world was over. It became the butterfly. What if these are the times and moments of our rebirth? The birth of your understanding that the power of everything you are seeking lies dormant inside you and can be found in the very energy that sustains you right now. It is the invisible force that helps you to move forward in our lives and divinely gives us the strength to continue on in the face of tragedy. There is an ancient Chinese proverb that states, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So I started to read book after book from many spiritual authors and teachers of psychology. You see, we have to be willing to walk into the unknown even when our knees are buckling, even when our heart is racing and arms are shaking to the point of just giving up right here, right now. Or we can trust that we are here for a reason and a divine purpose that we are made in the image and likeness of, well, you know the rest. So stand and look in the mirror and look in the eyes of your very soul and say the suffering ends today. The time is now to begin an incredible journey of self-discovery, of mastery in what your heart and soul is calling you to be. Oh no, you knew it was going to be hard. You knew the mountain you had to climb. You knew the obstacle was beyond your understanding. That was not yet to be revealed to you for a reason. So it would force you to stretch out your soul and grasp a piece of that rock without any harness to save you from falling. You had to learn to save yourself. And you knew you could not look down from where you were for that would overwhelm you, and should you let go, you would not still be standing. You knew you had only one ticket to go to survive, a one-way ticket, and that was up. To fall down would be death. So you started to ascend with what little strength you had left. And if we look up at the peak of the mountain that is covered in dark clouds, and above where that fog is, lies your destiny. And as the great Wayne Dyer once said, 
With everything that has happened to you, you can either feel sorry for yourself or treat what has happened as a gift. Everything is either an opportunity to grow or an obstacle to keep you from growing. You get to choose. God rest your soul, Dr. Dyer. You will always be in my heart. And whatever is in your heart is there for a reason for you to express your innermost thoughts that contain the most powerful ideas that is pushing you to let it out. You are not here to hide from the world. For what would be the purpose of that? For that is what is causing the suffering. The freedom you seek is just a step away and taking even the smallest of action towards your hopes and dreams that will help you breathe fresh air that is more invigorating than a moment ago. But you need to just take that action now and to get up and claim your birthright and the promise that you are made from the most powerful force in creation. So maybe that mysterious force inside us has been there all along, waiting in slumber, awakening us and preparing us for something special, something that is only revealed in our darkest moments.